Hi everybody, for day three of our pineapple challenge, I decided to paint some tiny little warm-up pineapples, if you will, and I just got out a smaller journal and a smaller brush and started painting. I have no idea what I'm going to like, so I'm letting myself have a really open mind and I'm just exploring different colors well, here you kind of see the same colors, but you're going to see in a moment that I change my colors. But I'm exploring different brush strokes, different shapes of pineapple, and just trying everything. This is, this is just a wild gamut of options, you know, not knowing what's going to work. So I figured it's better to do it small, you know, just really small, simple, little pineapples and anything that really struck my fancy, I would paint larger. And, and it did turn out to be a useful thing um, because um, very soon you're going to see me painting some size A6 cards, which uh, I just basically took a nine by 12 sheet of Canson Excel watercolor paper, cut it into four pieces. Those fit perfectly inside of an A6 envelope. And uh, I've got some gorgeous turquoise envelopes that I want to put these hand-painted cards in. So um, and that's just one of the many things we're going to be doing in this whole pineapple challenge. I have discovered that I really like quinacridone gold uh, for pineapples. It's a great color because it's kind of um, it's kind of warm and earthy, you know, which is what you see when you look at a pineapple. <laughs> This particular pineapple, I noticed that it has an ombre effect. The top of the pineapple has dark green, and when you get to the bottom, it's a lighter green. So I, you know, I was just observing the pineapple. That's kind of the whole purpose of this, is to observe further the leaves and the pineapple shape, the colors, the texture, everything you see going on, and figure out how you can express that. Um, and now here I am painting the A6 cards and I have a stack of, I don't know, maybe 20, I don't remember. And um, some of these I'm painting a little bit larger to kind of fill up the whole card. And um, so again, I'm using my, I'm looking at the small samples that I did and painting them a little bit larger now to see what happens. Um, here I'm using um, Haynes Gray mixed with green for a really, really dark leaf. <laughs> There's the ombre green. I, I don't know, I like that ombre. Uh, I was running out of places to stick all these things. Um, another thing I discovered I like is this dotty, you know me with the dots, I love painting dots. <laughs> so I like just dotting the texture of the, the pineapple on there, you know. I love adding some brown into the wet and wet. See what colors you like. Try your, your soft pale colors and your crazy blue colors like I'm doing here. I even had a, like a yellow orange. See what you like, you know, see what works for you. Here I'm doing some different strokes. Um, here I got really graphic, <laughs> really different. And you know, the line work that we're gonna to add tomorrow is gonna to tell the story, it's gonna complete the story. So don't be afraid to leave some places blank because we're gonna draw some black line work on top of these. So leave some areas a little bit mysterious for to, to fill in with actual line art. And, and really, you know, have fun with this. Keep an open mind and remember that this is all about um, you know, it's an adventure. We're trying different things. We're exploring color and brush strokes and how to express the texture of that pineapple and all of this good stuff. So I don't know. I just think this is so much fun and it, that's the most important thing. Have fun with it. Um, let yourself discover what works for you. This is how you um, kind of uncork your creativity by just playing and having fun. These are all experimental exercises. You know, think of it as a warm up, if you will. And it's okay if they don't turn out. It's totally okay. Don't worry that you're wasting these. You're not. We can actually um, paint gesso over these and use them for an acrylic study later. So there's, there's no waste. 
it's all good. <laughs> so um, that's really that's really all I can say. Try different brush strokes, different colors. Um, think of different ways to represent the pineapple. And you don't have to do just one single pineapple like I'm doing. Maybe you want to slice one open or, or, you know, dice it up and do pineapple chunks or two pineapples or a row of pineapples or dancing pineapples or I don't even know what. But, you know, it's totally whatever you want to do. So that's it for day three. And um, tomorrow... We'll do some warm-ups, and I'll talk all about adding line work with brush pens and maybe nib pens, too. <laughs>